Hi, this is Stephen Chin for Night Hacking, and I'm here at the DevOx conference interviewing different speakers and luminaries, and I'm fortunate to be joined by Mark and Lucy, who were part of the recent announcement of Voxed, which is a new content aggregation site that um, was announced here at DevOx. So, Mark, can you tell me a little bit more about the about what Vox does? Yeah, sure. So uh, Vox came about as a, as a result of, the, I, I, I look after and uh, help run DevOx in the UK and Stefan, uh, Stefan Janssen runs it here in Belgium and uh, the two of us got together and were kind of like, hey, wasn't it great when you used to be able to pick up uh, your daily fix of the kind of best content around um, and that seems to have kind of disappeared a little bit and uh, the online media fragmentation does, really doesn't help us discover that. So. We kind of said, let's, let's try and create something. So yesterday's big announcement was uh, about Vox.com, uh, which is a new site that's uh, trying to pull together a lot of the best content from uh, around the Java, Java sphere. Nice, nice. So um, you know, since we have technology here, maybe we could actually take a look at the Vox site. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Itself. So you did a lot of the work on the initial um, website and aggregation, right, Lucy? Um, yeah, kind of the kind I'm of the curation of content. Yeah, I'm the editor of Fox. So um, since September, I've kind of been working to find partners with the help of Mark and Stefan, of course. To, um, we're working with people like Zero Turnaround, New Relic, um, Hazelcast, and other people to kind of do interviews and pull in feeds from their blog, kind of their premium posts, things that they want to share with the community. Um, and also kind of writing our new, own news articles, going up and doing interviews at places like Java One, Geek On, Geek Out. Um, although we're affiliated with DevOx, we're very open to working with other conferences or the community events because at the end of the day, if, you know, if you're kind of protectionist that gets siloed, really great stuff that happens at other events doesn't really get shared around. So we kind of want it all to be in one channel, one place. Cool. You can find out everything that's happening in the Java sphere when you log on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so and I see some. some I, I folks, was just sorry. Gonna, sorry, I was just going to say it's it, it's not just companies that Lucy's been working with, but individuals, um, key guys in the industry yeah. who have got a lot to say and yeah. just want to share their expertise, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, people like Yakov Fain have got blog posts on there. Johan Voss. Um, yeah, and I was going to say I see some some of those folks on the website here. So yeah. Stuart Marks and Richard Warburton. Yeah. Um, in the Hacker Garden here at DevOx. Yeah, we went and did some filming there yesterday. Kind of spoke to the people down there. Um, I know Heather Vancouver has been doing a great job kind of getting people involved in that. Um, so we wanted to kind of share some of the activity, um, the Java FX Twitter wall that's gone up there. Uh, we talked to Trisha G about her MongoDB activities. Cool. So what are some of the other features of the, of the Voxed website? So there's, there's six main content tracks that we're working on. So we've got Java, Mobile, JVM, Methodology, Cloud, and Future. Um, and the, the site's set up so that it's nice and clean and easy to use. Um, each, each category sitting on the home page there and then simple click through into, uh, into the category itself um, and it lists by date order the, uh, the latest posts. Um, and we're working with the Parlays team as well and uh, in order to link a lot of content together. So if we go into a post, what you'll see is, yep, that's the post with, 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 the, with the feature. Um, we've already picked a presentation to sit alongside yeah. that and an interview to sit alongside so it. For example, this article is kind of about how Java is a type safe survey, so um, Java adoption is also pushing people, Java 8, sorry, is pushing more people to have an interest in functional programming, so we've put a presentation about thinking in functional style. Um, we've got an interview with Mark Reinhold on there as well, because relating back to Java 8. Cool, so it's more than just about seeing content, it's about finding interesting content which is related yeah, absolutely, and uh, you know, there's the uh, re re top related Vox picks on there, but also you can come down and there's a heap of other Java presentations, and you just scroll through the slider there um, and see uh, what what you like, uh, take a look at it, um, and view it directly in uh, in, in uh, the Vox site. Um, so we're integrating with Parlays on that, um, but not just with Parlays. There's a heap of YouTube stuff out there as well. Um, so uh, we're just trying to pull together all of that, all of that great content. Cool. No, that's exciting. So, if folks are interested to get more involved with the Voxed website, how would they, how would they reach out or um, get in touch with you guys? 
absolutely very easy to reach out to us. We've got a submit article tab at the top of the page. So people just click on that. I would say at the moment, it's still a work in progress. So whatever you do, if you submit something, make sure you put your name on the article as well. <laughs> um, so we know who you've come from and preferably an email address as well. And then that will go straight to my inbox. I review the content, finesse it if it needs any tweaks, any, oh, it's always nice to have a sub edit, kind of any polishing that it needs, and then it goes straight up on the site. And um, people can also email me directly if they want, if they have any questions or news, or if they kind of, they even want to talk about an article idea before they jump straight in. Yeah, that sounds good. Th there's other ways to get involved as well. So I, we've been approached by a heap of guys over the last two days saying, hey, you're going to need um, content editors and moderators as well, because if this thing goes mad and you're getting hundreds of uh, article submissions, Lucy can't look no. at them all. Um, so I'm happy to sit there and, and moderate stuff and rate it and say, yeah, this is good. Nah, this, this needs some yeah, work. Yeah, so kind of getting more community involvement for the um Aggregation. Yeah, so in people kind of working and say if you're in the IoT sector, you're going to have an eye on what's new, what's exciting, what's really yeah. going to get people going. And one of the key things about the announcement yesterday was this, we, we could have said, hey, we want to create this really great community site all about the best content. And maybe 50 people would have put their hands up and said, yeah, I'm interested. And next week, 10 people would have been like, yeah, I'm still interested. And then mm -hmm. two people would have been going, yeah, I really want to do it. But so, so what we did is we said, look, this isn't perfect. This is literally version 0 0.9 or something, but let's push something out so that you've got a better idea of what the possibilities are. And now um, it's not just about content that we're looking for, but we want ideas from the community. So what could this thing morph into? Um, what's missing? Um, what resources are really lacking in the sector at the moment? And we'll look and see if we can do something. Cool. No, it's very exciting. So thanks, both of you, for making time during the DevOps conference to talk in more detail about the big Vox announcement. I'm sure lots of people are interested to find out what it is. Great. And I encourage folks to check out the website and, and also... Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, w follow on Twitter and Vox. also try to submit some articles and cool content. Please do. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.